Creating perfect geometric circles requires very specific tips and tricks. We're gonna show you exactly how to do this right now on Nail School. So before we begin the design, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the tip so that we have great adhesion. This is the same process I use when I'm actually working on natural nails. Uh, I'm going to use the new Young Nails Electric File at 3000 RPMs, and this is a wonderful speed for me to come in and gently remove shine from the surface. You notice how I could effectively tickle away the shine. And again, um, it, it, it's almost amazing how um, quiet the Electric File handpiece is. Zero vibration, it's an absolute wonderful piece of work. So once we remove shine from the surface of the nail, I'm going to take swipe and what we're going to do is we're going to clean the surface of dust, oils, and contaminants. And what this is going to do is this is going to set me up for protein bond application. Um, we're gonna use two coats of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply one even coat from cuticle to free edge all the way through and then again finish all 10 nails. Once I'm done doing all 10 nails, I'm going to come back and add one more coat. The natural nail is prepared and ready for form application. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nail form and we're going to use speed clear to build the free edge. I'm going to go ahead and apply the forms. I'm going to go ahead and apply the form tight to the nail. Just like this. And we're going to use our monomer to build a really, really thin platform that's going to be flush to this tip. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a really, really small pearl, and what I like to do is I like to drain the bead, especially when I'm working on this hip. And what this is going to allow me to do is set it down so that the pearl doesn't run away from me. And then what I like to do is use the body of the brush just to kind of slide it out to the length I'm going to build the nail, and then I'm going to use the body to actually sculpt it right up to the free edge so that it's tight. This is going to give me a really transparent tip and you'll notice that it's extremely flush to the natural nail. There's no visible ledge right here. I have a flat platform all the way through. Now, once I've built the free edge, we're going to start using our color to actually lay down the circles super flat on the free edge as well through the natural nail. I'm going to use yellow, I'm going to use yellow, purple, turquoise, plum, green from the Pop Brights collection, and red. So it's really important um, to have the right consistency when you're doing this design because we want to be able to lay down really flat circles. So what I'll do is I'll dip my brush um, and I'm going to spin my brush and I'm using uh, a number 12 again, which is pretty big, but again, this point is really tight. So it's going to allow me to pick up a really, really nice dot just like this. And notice what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull it off and let it sit on the towel just like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna dry out all the moisture. Uh, once I'm comfortable, I'm gonna pick it right back up just like this. And then I'm going to set this down right at a point where I feel um, I can actually start building up. So you'll notice that once I set this down, um, I could use the body of my brush to just try to get this as flat as I possibly can. Notice right here on this side, I'm actually putting a little bit more pressure towards this area, right, in the front. Notice how much thicker it is here and it's slightly thinner towards 
the front of the area. And the reason why I want to be able to do that is so that when I stack something on top, I don't have an obstruction. It's going to lay flat right on top of that circle right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my brush out. I'm going to spin it. I'm going to get a larger bead of turquoise. Again, I'm going to just pull it out, set it on my towel, as you can see right here, allow the towel to kind of suck up a lot of the moisture. I'm going to pick it up. It's going to stick right to the edge of my brush. And then once I actually set it down to the surface, it doesn't run. I have a beautiful consistency that I'm going to be able to work out. Um, notice now as I use the body of the brush to just kind of um, stretch the circle, the, the, the most incredible thing is you can see the dimension that I actually have across um, the colored acrylic. And again, I'm keeping it thin right here because I want to be able to lay something across the top. So we'll lay this down and you can see how I have some really, really nice dimension right there. So you'll notice that I have clear here if I need to, you know, make space. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to spin my brush and just touch, right? I, again, I want to be able to get really, really small pearls. Um, I, can, I can touch it, I can wait, I can pick it back up. And then I could set these in areas to just fill space because again, the whole entire surface is not going to be covered with dots. There's going to be some clarity in some areas. So that's really, really nice because that very, very tip again is not an area that I can fill the whole entire thing. Again, I'm gonna spin my brush. Uh, I'm going to get a much larger pearl and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull this off. Right, just gonna pull that off, clean my brush, and then I can basically go back and grab it. And then what I'm going to do is I can go ahead and set this down uh, in an area where I know I'm going to be able to get uh, maximum coverage. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and set this down across the free edge. And, and, and again, it, it, since it's going to be a convex shape, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to work it so that I'm getting full coverage, but I don't want it to be too thick on one side. So I'm just going to kind of lightly press that side down. But uh, this one is definitely going to be much bigger. So it, random, random, random areas you want to be able to work uh, across the nail. I'm going to try to make that side a little bit thinner. That way I can stack. And if I have to use the tip of my brush to just kind of push in the areas to make it a little bit more cylindrical, I can definitely do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, another bead of yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the yellow up here because I want to be able to put something in the middle. So I'll go ahead and take yellow. I'll take this off. Um, I'll go ahead and take another a large bead of blue. I'll take this off. I'll go back to my yellow, pick this one up. I'm going to set that down uh, right here. And then while the yellow, while I'm working out the yellow and making it nice and round, the, the other bead is actually sitting on the towel just waiting for me. This is how you could actually crank through these designs. You'll notice how I'm going to be able to pick that up. And then once I actually set this down here, it's, it's a nice firm pearl. I want this one to be firm because I'm stacking it on top of two beads of acrylic. That way it doesn't run into each other. And you're going to notice that actually once I actually start pushing it out, it's gonna have a lot of dimension, which is going to be awesome. That's exactly what I wanna be able to accomplish, okay? I'm cleaning up around the edges. Okay, I'm gonna take a small pearl, and again, go with purple. So with purple, I'm going to get a really, really nice bead. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to set that off to the side so that it runs, drains on my towel. I'm going to pick that up. 
I'll set that right across the front here. It's, it's really important that you set beads that are going to just stay in place. If it's running all over the place, then you're, you're going to basically take away from all the dimension that you've actually built out onto your nail. So since this is going to be right into the stress area, I don't have to worry about um, it being super, super thin because I'm going to be able to apply a nice amount of clear acrylic over the top. This is really nice. It's starting to give the, the look that I want. All right, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna try to get some, some pink right here in the, in the middle. Again, I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna drain it. Go ahead and pick this up. And then just right there, I wanna be able to kind of stack that. I don't wanna press this one too firm Want it, I want it to look like it's laying on top. And then again, as it starts to set, notice I'm not gonna be using the very, very tip of my brush. I'm gonna be using kind of the center right here to just lightly press that down. And that's going to give it that really nice flat pancake effect. You can see the, the edges, um, how raised they are. It's uh, a great way of Again, and the only way you're going to be able to get that is if your edges are thin enough so that you can stack right on top. I'm gonna to do, if you guys want to, I'm going to take a small bead of yellow, take that off, and then I'll just go ahead and set that right here. So you'll notice even if it's on top of the existing circles, you're still going to have a lot of dimension. Give it a couple of seconds, don't just attack it right away, then use the body of the brush to flatten out to give it the dimension that you like. Take one more dot of yellow, a small bead, again take that out, give it a chance to set. Notice that when you just hit it with your brush it's going to pick up and then again I'm just going to set it right here, give it a chance to set and then use the very very tip of my brush just to pat that flat and it'll add a little bit of dimension to that corner. Perfect. So one more bead just to give it the dimension that I want. I'm gonna make sure that I work it across so they don't cover up all my circles. And again, having the right consistency is going to determine uh, whether you're going to be able to show off the, the, the ledges around the circles. Perfect brush makes it so nice. Okay, right, let's get ready to cap with clear. So I want to be able to show you how thin the circles are. So if you can see from the side profile, um, look at how tight it is. So as I apply my clear powder over the top, I have plenty of room to overlay and I'm not going to file through and actually um, file away any of the wonderful circles that I've created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use speed clear and the key to uh, having a bubble free application is to uh, apply it wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the Young Nails monomer, pour this inside my dish and I, what I like to do is I'll, I'll keep the finger angled down. Uh, I want to try to get a really, really big bead because I want it to be able to run bubble free. And again, we're just going to go for a really monster bead wet. I'm going to set it right to the cuticle area here. And then you're going to notice that I'm immediately going to use the tip of my brush and just focus on the cuticle area as the product starts to run down. I'm not really pulling anything down. You can see that where I actually pull my brush is from the front of the bead. Um, what this is going to do is going to allow the product to run from this point to this point um, absolutely with a super clear look. And then I can start brushing it forward once it actually sets. Okay, so once we've actually overlaid it over the top, I need to cap the front. And what I'm going to be able to do again is take a really, really nice bead. I'm going to set this, join it at the body, and then use, again, the body of my brush just to overlay it, and I'll get the product to flow. I want to be able to have a really nice wet consistency so that everything flows all the way past the tip. 
This is going to complete the overlay. Once it's dry, we're going to file this into shape. And you're going to be able to see this wonderful geometrical pattern come to life. Okay, so it's dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take the form off. I'm gonna go ahead and file this into shape and then you guys will see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I've already filed finished. I'm gonna take protein bond and just kind of run it around the edge so that when we apply our top gel over the surface, it's going to be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take stain resistant top coat, and apply a nice healthy coat from cuticle to free edge. Go ahead and wipe this off. Okay, that's the that's the look.